This video shows you how you can add your dividend reinvestment plan in ShareSide. You can enable automatic DRP if you have holding listed on the ASX or NZX. If you have DRP on holdings outside of this market, you can add them manually. Uh, feel free to skip to the section of the video that apply to your situation. For ASX or NZX investors, this is how you set up the automatic dividend reinvestment plan. So I'm here in the overview page. So I'm just going to use the Commonwealth Bank as an example. So I'll click on Commonwealth Bank to go into the holding page. So now I'm in Commonwealth Bank holding page. So I'll navigate all the way down on the right side bar to the holding settings. So you click on the holding settings and you can see here there's the auto DRP. So what you need to do is to turn that on. So the dividend, um, so you can see all the dividend reinvestment trade has been populated on here. If you have holdings that tracks residue balance, for example, if you have ETFs, you can actually track that balance by going to the holding settings again. And under the RP settings, you can change the default from round down to round down and track balance. And that would auto calculate the, the figures um, in the holding page. So the next one I'm going to show you is how to set up the DRP for a holding that is not in ASX or NZX. So in this case, we'll go back to the overview page. I'll use Coca-Cola as an example. So if we go into Coca-Cola's holding page and so we'll navigate all the way to the income page to the income section in here you will let's say for example i'll pick the most recent dividend which is the 12th of august dividends and if you want to set up the drp you click the edit button and in here you select the checkbox under dividend reinvested so you can see there's a two fields number of shares and share price so you basically have, you have to enter the drp price in this case i'll use the numbers here and shares i will automatically calculate that i get one shares being reinvested based on the amount of dividends that i receive you can also upload your dividend statements here and add comments to, for easy record keeping um, once you've done that, you just need to click save and confirm payout and that should take you back to the holding page and that should and you should be able to see the reinvestment trade um, on the old trades and adjustment section. This concludes how you can track your dividend reinvestment plan or DRP in ShareSite. If you found this video helpful, please remember, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload videos don't forget to follow us on our social media at share site for more product updates and announcement see you